Hey everyone, welcome to Game Dev XR. I'm Jonathan. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how you can actually add 360 video to your Oculus Quest headset using Unreal Engine 4. Uh, it'll also work with other HMD devices, so HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, basically any desktop project. Uh, you'll probably be able to get away with using it on an actual desktop project as well that doesn't require VR. So for now what we'll do is we'll jump over to Unreal Engine I'll bring in a 360 video and we'll look at getting that onto the headset. So over in Unreal, what we're going to do is I'm going to start by actually creating a new level. And the reason for this is just to remove all the, the everything in it basically, because we're going to need a blank to see the video. So I'm just going to do an empty level. And then from here, I'm going to bring in our motion controller phone and set it to set its location to world space 000. That just means when we start, we'll be in this this area and because there's no gravity to the the actor as well we won't fall so we don't need to worry about floor so what we're going to do now is actually go to content we're going to right click and we're going to create a new folder called movies oh i've already added it so we'll ignore that so in movies which you you just make we're going to actually add our video into it so the best way to do that is to right click on the folder and go show in Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the video from my downloads. Go to new window. Drag that in. The video that I'm using is from metal.com. So from this one, they have a free course on editing 360 videos, which I recommend checking out. But I don't have any videos of myself uh, from a 360 camera because I don't own one. So I just downloaded this one and that's what we're going to use for this example. So with the MP4 actually in our movies folder, we can close that window down and we can jump into our folder. What we're going to do now is just go to import movies and select our video. So cool. So you can see that it's in here now. What I'm going to do is open it up and I'm actually going to set pre-cache file so you can see here it says it loads entire media file into memory and it'll play it from there that way you can remove it and it's usually a bit faster so I'm going to just take that close it and now the next thing to do is actually go to media and create a media player so you simply just do that by right clicking your content browser media media player and we're going to do video output media texture asset just going to hit ok and we'll call this media underscore name of our clip and you can see here it automatically creates a media texture so what we need to do is open up our media player double select our double click our media file and that will show it up in the editor Gonna hit save and you'll see here it actually shows up in our media texture as well and the next thing to do is simply make a material. Let's call it M underscore vid. Okay. Same name as the video. Uh, once we open this up, all we need to do is drag in our media texture and plug that into a mess of color. Uh, we can do it in the base color as well. Cool. We're going to hit apply and save. And you can see it actually changes the color to white. So I can close that down and now what we need to do is we actually need to bring this into our scene. So to do that I'm just going to use a sphere and set that to 000, zero, zero. and you'll find that once we bring the material onto it, actually I'm going to scale it up as well to 10, like 10. you'll see that we can't actually see the inside of it. So to do this you can, you can either create a custom sphere with the normals inverted so you can see it from the outside. Or you can simply just go into the material and select two sided. I'm going to hit apply and save. Excellent. So, with the material attached to the sphere, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into our level blueprints and we're going to open up our level blueprint. This is where we're going to tell our media to play. So, super simple. All we need is our event begin play. And we're going to do open source. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to create a variable for our media player. Media. Media player. 
we're going to hit compile that gives us access to this so we're going to do media player so under object types and we're just going to do an object reference hit and compile we can actually go down and select our video now so we're going to hit compile I need to save the level as well so I'm going to bring that get media I'm going to drag off and going to go open source we're going to plug that in with a play if I drag off the media player just search play and then add that on so do compile save that's going to do the level we might as well do it now so um, just going to call it vi we'll just call it under m underscore video level just for map save okay so i actually forgot to do something in our level blueprint so what we need to do is actually open our level blueprints back up and then in here you can see that we've got our event begin play with our media player but i forgot to set the media source so we just need to select that hit save and now if i simulate you can see we actually have our 360 video in the editor Normally it's locked to the center part, so it should still look all right, but you can tweak and change the location when needed. It's because I moved it. So you can see with the, the camera in the center, we can actually build it to the headset. So if I do this quickly and then go over to it, being on the headset, you'll actually find that the video starts blank and it shouldn't play, it won't be playing any video, but the sound will be playing. I find the easiest way to fix this is to add a delay node. So basically Unreal is firing this event before the video is actually loaded properly. So it just plays the audio because it's basically what's loaded first. So by adding a delay node, and I usually add it to three seconds, it's usually quick enough by the time you put the, head, the headset on that you can't really tell. So we've got the delay. What we're going to do is we're actually going to set our project settings, or at least I need to on mine. You might not have to do this. So map some modes. I'm going to select our new video level. And then in packaging, I'm just going to make sure I've got excluded editor content. And we can also add specific movies to package, but we don't really need to do this. So now if we build the project. Awesome, so we successfully built our project to the headset. Uh, you should be good to go now. Uh, that's basically it. As it is, if the video does show up black when you first start, just maybe increase the, the length of the delay within the open level blueprint. That way, it just gives it a little bit of a buffer time between loads. You can obviously reduce this down from three seconds to find the, the spot for your project. But apart from that, that's that's how you add a video, a 360 video to an Unreal Engine 4 VR project. And as it is, that works on the Oculus Quest, and it also works on desktop VR as well. So if I grab my other headset, you can see it actually works as well. Excellent. So I hope that was useful, and I hope that helped you out. If there's anything else you want to see, or specifically just like a request or anything like that, Leave a comment in the leave a comment down below, and I'll have a look at how we can do it, and maybe make some tutorials on that. I'm also working on a new playlist, which will be coming out soon, hopefully, on how to create a VR game from scratch. Uh, we'll cover picking up weapons and adding guns and menus and that kind of thing. So that's something to subscribe and keep an eye out for. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with the videos, press the bell. But if not, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. And have a good one. Bye.